I'm Steve Karnowski. I'm a reporter with the Associated Press. We want to... Friday. It's there, there is fresh no, information to this defamation for my father. Please leave. Get off the property right now. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, this is actually a, uh, a Nazi uh, SS list. It, it, it includes all of their, the various companies uh, that were in, that were in this uh, unit and the, their commanders and their and their ranks, dates of birth, all the information, it, and basically their their pay grade. It's a payroll list, so far as we know. This is Karkoch's own name uh, listed, and you see he's the lieutenant and he's the head of the second company of this uh, of this uh, group, born in 1919. Um, the latest is, is that we've discovered new testimony from a private in his company, a guy named Ivan Sharko, who specifically testified that Karkots not only was at the scene of the massacre in 1944, but that he'd also ordered his troops to attack the village. Um, he did not specify that they, that they had or been ordered to kill men, women, and children, but what we do know is that they did, in the end, kill more than 40 civilians in the massacre. Um, this clearly says that yes indeed he was at the scene and in fact had given the order so he was there in a command uh, position. Um, what we've also just learned is, is that uh, federal prosecutors in Germany uh, say that they've collected enough evidence to, um, in an investigation that they began after our initial story to uh, recommend to state prosecutors that they pursue murder charges against Karkots. Um, that could still take some time. It has to be determined, first of all, which state prosecutors that it goes to, um, and then, that, then they have to review the evidence and determine whether there's enough to charge him and whether Germany has the jurisdiction to prosecute him.